is Dragon Squad. Bitch! Chapter 15, The Professor's Daughter. Um, I'm actually on break right now, but so, but I, th I think I, I think I'll be able to finish this shit in 30 minutes. Um, <clears throat> you and James are talking outside the Save Savoy restaurant when you're interrupted by your phone. Who is it, man? These bitches, my nigga. I got all the hoes, nigga. Gabriella, that's one of my thoughts, nigga. Hello. Hi, I got a call from this number about my father. Man, she looks shady, no, she bad. Yes, Gabrielle, I'm Coffee. I'm your father's assistant at Harvard University, and... Assistant? Don't tell me he asked you to contact me. Am I one of your assignments? Hold on, hold on, bitch. Who you bucking at, though, my nigga? I'll whoop your ass. Look, look at this dress, nigga. I'll whoop your ass. No, he was No, he hasn't asked me to do anything. Contacting you was my idea. I found a letter he wrote to you, and I had to find out why you weren't speaking. You did, huh? I don't see how this is any of your business. Hold on, bitch. I'm trying to help your dumb ass out. Why the, so why the fuck would you... Okay. It's not really, but I've gotten to know him because I've been helping gather experiences for his book. Nani? And he's been trying to talk to you for years. It's clear he loves you a lot. Batman doesn't care about anyone but himself and his work. Look, I need you to stay away from him. What the fuck is you talking about? Man, nigga, this man, nigga, my college tuition rests in this man's hands. I need those. I need those. I don't feel comfortable about talking over this other phone. Let's let's talk in person. O okay, I'll meet you. Name the time time and place. Gabriella gives you the details on where to meet her. After you hang up, you summarize the conversation for James. For James. And so she wants me to meet her at some park in Greenfield tomorrow after lunch. She lives in all the way in Greenfield? That's over an hour away. Yeah, I guess I'll have to find the fucking <laughs> the public transit to take me there, I guess. I'm about, I'm about to take a fucking Uber. I'm about, actually, we don't fuck with Ubers. We take lifts, my nigga. Marvel's Wonder Race. We take lifts. I can drive you. We can head over. We can head out after my morning shift for Vasquez. Oh, are you sure? That's really nice of you. No problem. That's the least I can do after do after what you've done for me tonight. Thanks, James. Besides, I'm very curious about what she has to say. You and me both. Next morning, you stand in front of your closet. Hmm, what the wear? What the wear? Nigga, nigga I'm, I'm, I'm not just wearing my same outfit, nigga. Fuck you mean. Casual, nah. Mm. I, I, I guess I'll throw, throw this on. I, I, I haven't worn this one on yet. This isn't something that she would probably really wear like that, for real, for real. This is um something that another character in my story will wear or whatever. Man, not what I was hoping for. Fuck you mean. Um, fancy, what we got? I, I, yeah, I, 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 I'll throw that on. That's 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 pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna throw that on. Fuck it. Got that off white. Nigga. A everything in my closet is off white, bit. A little while later, you drop off Vasquez. You drop by Vasquez's office to meet up with James. I know niggas be like, this nigga can't read, bro. I just be trying to. I'm trying to read fast. I got cracks in my damn screen. Well, I I I, I, I got some cracks in this um glass protector. I just I just reuse this glass protector I got. And I actually got cr cracks in it and shit. There you are. You're late. Nigga, shut up, nigga. Man, you about to... Yeah, I'm about to rock your ass and make you late, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you? I am. I was expecting a report from last night on my desk this morning. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. You were serious about writing the dinner with James? Do I look like I'm a person that kids around? Um, definitely not, but... It's not her fault, Professor. I'm sure she can make excuses for herself. You're not her keeper, are you? No, but dinner with my parents ran late, so she wouldn't have time to write it up. I take responsibility. Yeah, nigga, fuck wrong with you, nigga. Yeah, throw him under the bus. Wow. Wow. So he, so he, he, he was kept fussing me out. Fine. So I had to go. Did Coffee manage to impress the Ashtons? Coffee doesn't have to answer that. James. Go find me that following the 20th century fiction writers, would you? 
James lifts an eyebrow, but leaves the office to look in Vasquez's file room. Why do I read it like that? Now, coffee. How was last night, really? Mr. Ashton did say she was impressed with me, but she eventually found out that we weren't engaged since James decided to tell the truth, so it didn't matter then. Nigga, you snitching, coffee? No, why are you snitching? Hmm, a shame. And how are you and James doing? James and I. Our friends and co workers, nigga, fuck around with you. Hmm, that tells me nothing more than I already know. Okay, then what the fuck did you ask, nigga? Did you want me to write about James? <laughs> I'm sorry, no. <laughs> did you want me to write up James and my relationship in the report? Forget it. It was merely a question. Though I should remind you that I only care about. I only care about your life insofar as it helps me write. Man, fuck you, nigga. Found the file. Here you go. Great. You're both dismissed. Hey. Hey! Got the whole day to myself, bitch. A few minutes later. Okay, James. Okay, James. What, 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 what we in? We, we, we in the child's car? Look at this shit. A few minutes later, you and James in the parking lot climbing onto James' car. James pulls on pulls out onto the road, and soon you're on the highway passing in and out of small towns. Are you sure you want to speak with Gabriella? Yes, nigga. The more I talk to Vasquez, the more it seems like his entire life is lived through me. I want him to fix his own life. At the very least, maybe he'll be nicer to us. I doubt that, but I see your point. It'll be interesting to see what Gabriella has to say. Yeah, I have to know why she's warning me to stay away from her dad. And beyond that, I want to know why she and Vasquez aren't talking. I find this so... Sad. I can't imagine not talking to my parents for so long. Like, I'm not talking to my dad. That nigga, that nigga lost his job at Telltale. At the moment, I find the idea very appealing. Oh yeah? Well, how'd it go last night after I left? After Gabriella's phone call, I went back to the restaurant to talk to them. Had they calmed down after your confession? Mm, not really, no. My father reapproached me for causing the scene at the restaurant, and they called me a fool for abandoning my career. After that, he announced that he and my mother were going home to Manhattan. Are they going to the Sony or something? They gonna, they, they, they gonna take, they gonna take the nigga funds away, boy. Nigga, car, he ain't even had no money on his car, bitch. Dang, if they finna take all his cars, we ain't finna have shit, bitch. They didn't mention it. I think they're still hoping I'll change my mind. I'm surprised you told your parents at all. You think I shouldn't have? I think. Yeah, telling the truth was the, was, the, was the right thing to do. You were clearly miserable keeping it from them. And your lives were getting more and more elaborate. I have a vivid imagination. Just an occupational hazard. <sighs> Not bad for a writer, but great for someone trying to keep a secret. The truth had to come out eventually. It's probably better it happened now. Man, look, man, look, look. I'm, reading, I'm reading these lines like I'm in this bitch. Fuck you me. I'm on a roll. You see I'm in a roll? You see I ain't stuttering nothing. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how things unfold. Perhaps I'll be seeking aid at the financial office next quarter. <laughs> hey, better hit a bad quest. Take, take, take that. Oh no, I got the last scholarship, bitch. That's tough for you, nigga. Bye, bye, nigga. Bye, bye. It's not your fault. You were an excellent fiance. I was, wasn't I? And so humble too. Hey, you were lucky to have. You were lucky to pretend have me, bitch, cause you ain't you ain't fucking nigga. I don't know. You're right. I did say you inspired me to confess to my parents. I remember, but did I really inspire you though? Yeah. Well, yeah. Watching you try to recover from me made me realize I was tired of it. It's exhausting to deny who you are and what matters most. He gives you a small smile. You notice he has he has one hand resting on his knee. I'm I'm I'm, I'm covering him. You catch James' hand in yours. He squeezes back. You drive on. Hold on, nigga. I ain't mean like that. I thought I thought I was comforting him, nigga. 
I knew damn well what I was doing. <laughs> I was my bullshit. I knew damn well what I was doing. You still ain't getting no ass, my nigga. For real. I don't condone that cheating shit. Well, I mean, me and Caitlyn aren't even together. But nah, she, she gonna be heartbroken. Heartbreak, shawty. <laughs> this is Greenfield. We'll be there in five, four, three, two. It feels so wonderful. Dun, dun. Live life. Breathe air. I know how we're going to get there. It feels so wonderful. I'm telling you just how I feel. So wonderful. It's sometime to be. Looking ass nigga. <laughs> Soon as you, soon as you and James arrive at the small party, I need to, I need to stop bullshit. I got like what? Yeah, I need to be in there on like ten-ish minutes, my nigga. Fucking me, I'm bullshit. You glance around and see your pregnant woman alone. Oh shit, she prego? As you approach, she looks up. Coffee? Oh, thank you. Looking ass. Uh, that's right. This is James. He also works for your father. It's nice to meet you. We'll see. Man, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Thanks for setting it, setting up this meeting. We we're very curious to hear what you have to say. You and James sits down next to her. I'm not sure if you have a lot of questions for me. I'm sure you have a lot of questions for me. And I'll answer any questions you have. But I feel like I should explain why I stopped talking to my dad in the first place. Okay, what happened? He used, he used me to write his damn book. The winter my sophomore year in college I was having a hard time and I dropped out it was one of the worst times of my life I leaned on for emotional support I trusted him and he he observed me and noted down stories from my life and wrote all about it so I cut him out Gabriella I can see why you stopped talking to him it must have been upsetting I haven't gone through what you have, but i would definitely been, been upset about some of the things Vasquez has asked me to do. Then you understand why it was so devastating. I didn't want anyone to know what I was going through, but the main character and I shared a birthmark, a car, even the same, even our dogs had the same name. Our family, my friends, people in our community, everyone knew who the book was about. Everyone knew deeply personal things about me. My father had no right to publish my life. He can send me all the letters he wants. But I know he just wants his ending to a stupid damn story. I'm not talking to him again. Gabriella sits back. Her hand protectively settling on her stomach. You're not even going to let him meet your baby or the family? No. He hurt me again. I know better. But you might not. You're helping my father with his new book, right? Kind of, but... Kind of, but it doesn't seem that bad. Well, let me ask you. Are you really ready for everyone to know your deepest, darkest secrets? Sure, I have nothing to fear. I don't know you. Maybe that's true. But my father has a way of reading people. And all I can say is stay away from him. Don't let him use you like how he did me. He'll regret it. After, you, after your talk, James drives you home. A few minutes from campus, James pulls over and parks in the lot overlooking the city. James, what is what are you doing, my nigga? You know I fucked Caitlyn, bro. You know you know I kissed Caitlyn. Why are you still pressing with me, bro? This nigga should have got the fucking message. Um, James? Before I drop you off, are you okay? You barely said anything on the ride home. You just so happened to, to, to stop in this romantic spot. Oh, I was just thinking about what Gabriella told us. This nigga wanna, this nigga wanna fuck in the car. She was so hurt by Vasquez. I can't believe he published something so personal in a book. I can't say I'm surprised though. Do you know which book it was? I'm guessing Winter in July. Now that we talked to her, it's clear she was an inspiration. Is it as bad as she says? It depends on your. 
different point of view. The main character is a college girl struggling with severe depression. And the book doesn't sugarcoat what it's like. But that's also what makes it so poignant. I didn't realize it was about his own daughter. And now he's writing a novel based on my life. Hold on, can I plagiarize this fuck nigga? Hold on, bitch. You ain't finna, you ain't finna tell the story of coffee. And I'm not finna get no no money on this bitch. You got me fucked up. Talking all that shit, but get your bucks up. Lux up. My hair, I got jam. You niggas luxed up. Run up. Chasing niggas down. You niggas. Okay. Fun's up. Talking about your neck retarded. And now he's writing a novel. Okay, well, uh. If you really think he'd do that, would you quit? Uh, I guess I wanna quit. Yeah, coffee's pretty nonchalant. Until, like, it gets, like, some real serious shit. I wouldn't like having my secrets exposed, but I wouldn't be the end of the world. Not like it matters. Since I have my scholarship to think about, <laughs> what do you think I should do? You should, you should stay. Why? It doesn't matter what Vasquez writes about you. You'll be happier if you... You, you, you seen that and me? That pop up slowly, nigga? You'll be happy if you stay here with your friends and people who care about you. And me. James. James reaches forward, cupping your cheek. He leans towards you and you. Hug him, nigga. Friend zone! Bitch, put that nigga in the friend zone! Uh, swervo. 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 Hop in the whip, nigga. Power the turbo. Uh, uh, yeah. Wait. How the little bitch got the mouth of a Yoshi, but she got the... Uh, wait. Yeah. How the little bitch be... Uh, I fucked it up, nigga. Damn it. You hug James. His arm wraps around you. He holds you for a while, then... Come on, it's getting cold. Nigga, we inside your car. Your car ain't got heat. Your car ain't got the heat. Look, look nigga. I, I, I see the heat is on in your car, my nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Let's get you home. This nigga sad. <laughs> I'm sad and annoying. I'm sad and annoying. A short time, at, a short time later, James drops you off at the dorm parking lot. You climb out. How about the whip? How about the coupe, nigga, photo or something? How about the coupe, nigga, two doors? Yeah. <laughs> How about the Ray? Thanks for the ride, James! You walk to your dorm, exhausted. So tired. You open the door, the suite, and find Chris standing just inside. Coffee. Chris, are you alright? I. I ended things with Becca. You did? I made a mistake, Coffee. I thought I was protecting you by staying away, but only ended up hurting us both. Just hoping it's not too late to make things right. So I'm asking if you'll take me back for good this time. <sniffs> nigga, taking you back, nigga. We, we we never was like that, Chris. We 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 didn't see eye to eye like that, my nigga. I smashed Caitlyn. Simple. Say no. <laughs> But um, I'm about to end that shit right there. I'm supposed to go on break. I'm supposed, I'm supposed to be back from my break in like, yeah, I think right now or like two minutes. In like two minutes. I mean, my, I mean, it's like right down the street, so I, I'll still be good. My nigga, I'll still be good. Well, I'm, I'm gonna say four minutes. Fuck it. Yeah, that 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 probably what was really interesting like that for real, for real. I mean, she wasn't telling us nothing that it was it wasn't nothing special. Like, I would I I, I figure that's probably what it would be. Like why? Like why else would she or she stop talking to him? I mean, I guess it could have been another reason, but damn, is she prego too? Mm. I don't know. I'm damn yeah, definitely not staying away. Yeah, so so that shit was pretty pointless. That's that's what I mean. Like that shit was pretty pointless because I'm not staying away, nigga. I need my fucking scholarship, bitch. And, and like I said, coffee, coffee's a coffee's character is pretty like nonchalant, like. Like, she's not really a serious character for, like that for real, for real, until it gets, like, serious, serious. Like, 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 she's the jokester, the one that's full of life. Like, she's, like, Caitlyn times 20, my nigga. No cap. Off for, like, 100, 100 cups of coffee. Yee. So, um. So, yeah. So, yeah, she ain't, she ain't, she ain't, she ain't really tripping about, um, her life like that too much about people knowing what the fuck. Knowing everything about her, so yeah, she ain't really tripping about that. But <sighs> hey, man, I guess I guess we'll see how this transpired. James thought he's gonna get some ass, nigga. No siree, Chris, you're not getting no ass neither. Where's my girl, Caitlyn? Damn, it's been two chapters I haven't seen Caitlyn. She only she only had like two. She only had like three panels. 
damn man hopefully um next in the next session yeah the, the, the next session is the last session and shit so man i'm not I'm so boring for war hot yep got two more chatters so the last two chatters i have to see caleb what the fuck nigga that's, that's mandatory we got, we got a tie the knot. We got a tie the knot. So, y'all guys can post your comments down below. What you guys thought about this? Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Like if you didn't. Subscribe. I upload every single Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And I'm finna be out this game place. And I'm finna be out this bitch dragon squad. Bitch! Signing off that way, Dexter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get it! Dragon squad. I really thought you loved me, girl. How can this be? I didn't love these hoes. It was only you and me. Two choppers to my chest. No, I can't.